people to also just like uh, start thinking about the, the behavior and like other human beings in a different way. Yes, yes, so and like how to kind of deal with ourselves and each other and so yeah. and when there are some tensions, so that how to kind of smooth and kind of slow down the processes that we may might lead into a negative. Yeah, I think results. like one one big challenge there is that like I think these are really big generational things that, yes. I, uh, that like. Oh, like looking at my kids and like how they use technology it's so very different than like what I grew up with yes and and I, I, I think that the interesting challenge is uh, that like we build something now and like we will start like really under even understanding and seeing the impact over like the next like 30 years or yes. in the next generation and I think I mean of course obviously that is a big responsibility for us but it's almost like this like a massive like an ongoing experiment so. yes huge experiment <coughs> that we have so and that's why I've been talking about the kind of idea and even the facts, I would say, that we are kind of encountering a change in the humankind that is unforeseen. Right. So because we are <coughs> dealing with kind of processes related to our mind, our understanding, our cultures and so on. Yeah. And that's why even these kind of uh, questions related to that are handled by religions and so on so they are coming here and these kind of I would say negotiations between the kind of our let's say uh, physical and natural science understanding and our understanding of our our kind of biological and then cultural and then uh, our basis of our values and how do we deal with this whole thing but at least I see it also so that most of the time around us the things are going well. Yeah. So like now here in Espo, Finland, so the, all the time when we see people kind of going around and so on, people are neutral or happy or whatever. Right. And, and then people when they meet each other they are either neutral or then they happily yeah. kind of encounter each other. So much of the time actually what we have around us is either neutral or positive yeah and then of course we are kind of concerned about the things which are negative right and then of course i mean there is a there's kind of a bias there and i, I think like one of the most encouraging positive things is that like if you look at the many western countries actually the levels of crimes has been going down especially if you look at the behavior of teenagers i mean it seems that almost across the board teenagers are like behaving better than the, like, than, previous, than the previous I mean getting getting less intoxicated I mean like making having less petty crime and, and so forth and of course I mean no one knows why that is the case I mean maybe 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 it is like less lead in the gas or like maybe it is thanks to Facebook and Instagram and the fact that like well I mean it, it is in a way I mean maybe I mean this might be a controversial idea but I mean maybe it is a, in a way I mean better way of, of like dealing with other people I mean like at least in a sense I mean it is it is kind of a, a giving maybe less opportunities for some of those negative behaviors at the same time now we have other kind of problems of course and, yes. I, and I, I guess this is the this is the challenge about like finding the balance that we've solved one thing and like kind of a, then we, we serve as another type of problem but I, I think this is as you pointed out I mean like a very like a very encouraging and like a very positive that like we can we can start seeing that actually like we see this massive uh, societal like beneficial things and then like let's say I mean like the crime might be one thing that's improving and then we, we could be seeing the same thing in many other fields as well yes then like the use of social media has all kinds of aspects uh, which can be also to be considered to be negative in some cases but anyway the increased transparency in the whole system is something which is also a potential yeah. so there are some hiccups which are really uh, kind of important but I would say that there is this our ability to kind of deal with things in this kind of inherently complex situation because if we want to be more democratic and to be more uh, down to earth so that the all people will have their uh, increased freedom but how to organize things that this increased freedom comes along with increased uh, responsibility yeah. and how do we carry our responsibility and how to organize these things so yeah. that's of course I, I think I mean like we have one of the biggest living labs ongoing right now if you see what's happening in China and like yes. the amount of data collection they do yes. and like how they're organizing their society and they are like and like 
it, it, it is even like hard to imagine the, the, the benefits and the improvement that the country has seen over the past decades. Mm. On the other hand, like of course, I mean, one could argue that it, ha it has come with, with a certain cost. Yes. And then like no one knows how it plays out in the, in the long term. And like maybe there are like some things that can be learned elsewhere. And like maybe, I mean, in a good and bad way, I mean, some things we want to avoid. And that's why I think it's important to remember that the, our history in different places is so different that we can't impose the solution which has been our Western right. society problem for a very long time that we have tried to impose uh, force these kind of solutions which haven't been always, no, uh, they haven't always been very compatible with the kind of history of some local kind of culture and a way of organizing themselves and that's why we I think that's one of the possibilities is that the transparency uh, towards ourselves, how do we try to approach, approach things without trying to impose something too strongly. Right. And, yeah. that's, that's and, I, and I also remember that like something like a Western society is not given. I mean, it's something that needs maintenance all the time. It needs yes. development and maintenance. Yes, every generation yeah, is there. It becomes harder and harder to sell that idea if everybody sees that it's just a crumbling building and it doesn't seem that appealing anymore. Yes. So I, I think we, we need to focus on like keeping keeping that building clean and like in good shape so then there's a chance to exactly. at least export the good parts. So. Uh, keeping the building clean is a very good metaphor and how to bring and uh, construct it further yeah. in a good way so that's something we need to pay attention all the time yeah. so because uh, like if we live some in some building and we let the rain to come in and so so it doesn't take yeah. eternity uh, before it's kind of collapses so yeah. that's the thing and uh, mm, but I personally I want to uh, promote hopefulness so that we have power to change things of course in fin like places like in Finland I'm very happy that there's a very high degree of freedom yeah. of course we don't have the same capacity because with some five million and more people so that's so small drop in the world so that we can't force anyone yeah. to kind of for anything but that's that's then that we are kind of what I call pushing with rope yeah. so that if we want to push with rope the other one want, needs to be wi uh, willing to kind of take the rope and pull it right. and if we are kind of having some power like a big country we can think that we force things to go through yeah. but then there is this kind of counter force that comes back at some stage yes. and that's why the kind of building on the inherent kind of wishes of human beings is I think it's the strongest way to go forward. It is and I have to say I mean now having having a, a, enough distance to Finland so I mean I can really see the good parts like really clearly and I have to say that like one of the, the best things is, is about any country but I mean like it really I think works in Finland pretty well is overall like um, empathy and, uh, and like uh, avoidance of any extremes understanding that the world is a complex place oftentimes it is like a shades of grey and and like kind of um, they are like a, let's say even in Finland you have different different like uh, uh, like languages around and like still I mean and uh, people coming from different backgrounds and like finding finding kind of a, a like a happy balance mm. and and uh, having having that like kind of a culture of, of, of empathy and like I mean you, you see it well in like the, let's say the kind of the in the justice system of Finland yes. but I mean there is a constant pressure of course to kind of uh, the extremities and like kind of make it make it more black and white and I, I think it, it really requires like a educated empathetic people to kind of maintain the kind of the, the, like to happy keep the balance yes the happy middle I think that's a, that's a huge asset yes. and it's so easy to ignore uh, but I, I think that absolutely needs to be the foundation for any kind of like a like a future developments that we have so we can maybe conclude by stating that the these new methods uh, dealing with distributions are actually quite useful not only practically but also metaphorically yeah. and philosophically kind of pointing out that we can deal with things not by choosing some A and B but consider the things in between and the kind of landscapes yes. of uh, understanding. I think and that's, that's really the key to wisdom to understand like those nuances. Okay and thank you very much Will. Uh, I'd be very pleased and happy that to have Thank you. A chance to discuss with you. Right. And you. Yes. Thank you. Thanks.